Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Naveen Pemaraju, Associate Professor of Leukemia at the MD Anderson Cancer Center in Houston, Texas. I'm really excited to let you know that I'm here on site and in person at a very safe and social distanced ASH, American Society of Hematology, our 63rd annual meeting here in 2021. It actually brings me not only joy, but relief to be here after two years of pandemic time in order to safely meet with colleagues, friends, associates, even patients and caregivers and advocates from all over the world who are able to safely travel here. You see, what I've learned this year uh, in a meeting that I've been coming to every year for almost 20 years is that this was not a luxury to be here or something that was elective. It was actually necessary. It was necessary for us to meet like this in person if it could be done safely and online and hybrid in order to keep exchanging ideas, best practices, and to have that spark of inspiration that simply cannot come sitting in your office or at home for two years on Zoom calls. I'm here for you. I'm here for the patients out there, for the caregivers, for all the family members who are desperately looking for not only cures for their relatives or loved ones, but just some breakthroughs and some hope. And I'm pleased to tell you here in our myeloproliferative neoplasm sessions, I've had that spark. I've seen that inspiration again. And when I talk to my colleagues from all over the world, we realize that a lot of the work we've been doing despite these difficult pandemic times is really advancing the field. I wanna give you some examples of that. In polycythemia vera, which many of you out there either have or have a loved one, we have two separate breakthroughs in 2021. One is with the agent known as ROPEG interferon, which our European colleagues have pioneered, known as Besrimi. Many of you have heard of it now. This is a, a safe, effective, easier to dose regimen than say our Pegasus interferon, which has been around for decades. This is now actually breaking news. Uh, FDA approved just two weeks ago, just before this ASH meeting, and hopefully will be available for many of us to prescribe and use uh, starting in the next few weeks. A second agent is that of PTG300 or Rusfertide, which is an ongoing phase two clinical trial, which I'm a part of with my colleagues in New York and other sites. And this agent is also a weekly injectable, interestingly, but it's called a hepside mimetic, which tries to restore the iron blood balance in patients with PV. That's a very encouraging study early on still, and so we await that to go into the phase three for patients specifically with phlebotomy-dependent polycythemia vera. And then as I turn to our patients with myelofibrosis, there's so many clinical trials. You'll hear about it from my colleagues uh, all across the world um, in recording sessions such as this and, and as you read online. But you just really need to know that there's a lot of clinical trials that are going now into what's called phase three. So the latest stages of clinical trial drug development, over 10, maybe 12 now trials like that that just weren't there three years ago. And those drugs are given in combination with JAK inhibitors. They're given after JAK inhibitors have stopped working. And what's really exciting is that we have big data sets to be able to review together on behalf of all of you out there to be able to present not only what's effective, but what's safe for our patients. And so in conclusion, what I would say is the patient-centered journey, that of the patient with an MPN, oftentimes an internal private battle that most people cannot see on the outside, as is the case in other cancers, is the reason why we're gathered here, pandemic time or not, to keep looking for that spark of inspiration, of hope. And I'm pleased to tell you that I'm feeling that for myself, and I'm gonna bring that to all of you with my colleagues through scientific discoveries and communication. Thank you all so much, and I wish everyone a safe and happy and healthy 2022.